the reality is we in war. Just not beyond the, beyond the government and like that type of war, just the world we live in. There is a war right now, a battle between good and evil, between love and hatred, between the despair and hope. There is a mental war. There is like a spiritual war. Like I feel like it's all ministry what we do. Speaking, whether you're motivating, whether you're teaching, whether you're training, whether you're coaching, it's all spiritual. So if it's all spiritual, like if we at war, then what does that make us? <laughs> I felt that. They said, somebody said soldiers, somebody said warriors. Think about it. We all have a role to play. So, so what, one thing the creator told me, he said, Jeremy, don't look at what you're going through right now as just something random. I want you to view this as you were in preparation for battle. So for some of y'all, I just helped some of you out. Because you're like, when am I going to get a break? When am I going to get a breakthrough? How come this is not working out the way I wanted to? Why do I have to go through this? Why does that keep happening? And you're wondering, like, when are things going to shift and when are things going to change? But you are actually in preparation. We are almost kind of like the Navy SEALs wondering, man, why they keep waking me up at 2 o'clock in the morning with cold ice water doused on my face? Why are they making me spend 48 hours in the mud, in the trenches, taking off our AR-15, taking it apart and putting it back together? Because you're in preparation. Why we gotta be running, you know what I'm saying, four, five, 10 miles a day with 80 pounds on the back? Cause you're in preparation. Why do I gotta carry this heavy burden? I could just drop this burden. When you're carrying this heavy burden, cause you gotta be strong enough so that when you're in the battle and one of your soldiers are down, you can carry their load. I get why God had to take me through what he took me through all these years. He's like, so you're strong enough for the future. You're strong enough for the next generation of speakers. You're strong enough for your family. You're breaking generational curses. You're breaking strongholds. You're defying the odds. I'm trying to build you up, not break you down. I told myself, like, yo, God, I feel like you're breaking my heart. God was like, but I'm not breaking your heart. I'm building your soul. I'm making you stronger. It's interesting, it's like when you sign up for the army, you're like, hey, I'm signing up to be used. He's like, all right, well, if in order for you to be used, you've got to be conditioned. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's like if, if we was like, yeah, we gonna go in the army, me, my brother Prince, Leslie, Sophie, Ebony, we like, man, we gonna sign up for the army. We not gonna just sign up for the army. They not gonna just give us our guns and our ammunition. They not gonna just give us our little outfits, our uniforms, and be like, all right, let me deploy you. No, they put you through some stuff because they have to prepare you. What if I told you that what you're going through right now is preparing you for the big stage? What if I told you what you're going through right now was just part for the course to prepare you for that next level? So many aspects of my life I can dominate. So many aspects of my life I can fix. So many aspects of my life I can change. But it's like one little thing, I'm like, come on, God, what you doing? He's like, I'm trying to make something stronger inside you. Mighty men of God don't grow and become mighty men of God just because they pray a lot. It's because they go through a lot. What if I told you when you come out this storm, you're going to be so powerful? What if I told you that when you come out this storm, you're going to be so dominant? What if I told you when you come about this storm, there's a certain type of anointing, a certain type of sound that you're going to have once you come out of it, if you could just be strong enough. I talk about it often. Strong enough, long enough. So all the, all this like, yep, I love the idea of Green Beret and Navy SEAL and SEAL Team 6 and Delta Force. It's a whole bunch of stuff that they got to go through that is very inconveniencing, that is very painful, that is very challenging. But come out. When you come out of it though, 